All right, welcome everyone. In today's video, I'm going to be discussing adult checks and have they been announced for the low income? That's a really good question and exactly what I want to clarify for you here in this video, especially with that bill that is in the possession of lawmakers. That's the focus of the video. Let's get into it and talk through the details. I know this is a question that I have received a number of times as of recently from some of you here in the community reaching out asking, hey, what about those adult checks? Are we getting those sometime soon and have they really been announced? Well, again, that's exactly what I want to clarify for you here in this video. And I think we can all probably agree the low income and fixed income beneficiaries certainly need some adult checks right now with the current landscape and things that have been going on the last couple years. And so far this year, 2024, uh, yeah, adult checks are very, very much needed, highly focused on low income and fixed income. And again, exactly what I want to clarify. Now, also remember lawmakers have that piece of legislation in their possession right now. And I want to bring up to speed as far as what is going on with it and where we currently stand with these potential adult checks. So that being said, let's get into it and talk through the details. However, really fast before we do, can I ask a huge, huge favor of you? If you have not done so yet, will you make sure to subscribe to the channel by hitting the subscribe button right down below the video? Thank you so much. I truly appreciate it. I'm here for you every single day, watching the headlines, doing all the research, advocating on your behalf and answering your questions, doing anything I possibly can right now. I've been here every single day for the last, what, four years now, every single day. I want to do what I can for you. I have thousands of videos here on the channel. I'm back for you every single, do uh, every single day, no matter what. And I um, just want to do what I can. There's a lot of programs out there. There's a lot of piece of legislation out there, bills, things like this to change different programs, to raise benefits, to establish monthly payments. Again, all kinds of things going on right now. I'm watching it closely and I would want to do what I can to help you maximize your monthly income, maximize any of these other programs out there, maximize your annual income. And again, get as much as you can right now, because here's the thing, low income and fixed income need more money. There's no other way to say it, okay? <laughs> That's like the easiest and fastest way you can say it. Low income and fixed income just need more money. That's the fact, right? We see the studies. You've seen all the reports I brought to your attention here in these videos. It's a sad situation. A lot of people are really, really, really struggling right now to degrees that they have not in um, a very long time, okay? There's actually some weird things going on right now. In fact, quick little side note here. Um, by the way, subscribe down below if you haven't done so. Thank you, I truly appreciate it. But quick little side note, by the way, just got done reading another report. Uh, credit card delinquencies right now are at the highest pace we've ever seen in the history of this country. Does that tell you a little of something? Yeah, it certainly does, right? In other words, when I say delinquencies, in other words, people are not paying their credit cards um, and they're late on their payments, things like this, because nobody has any money, right? How can you pay down a balance if you don't have any money? Um, I'm sorry, but they don't accept um, goats and sheep and rice for payment anymore. You know, <laughs> maybe like 300 years ago they did, <laughs> but not today, unfortunately, right? Otherwise, I think we'd all be walking around with a backpack full of goats and sheep, right? <laughs> That's funny to picture right there, right? Uh, but I'm kidding. We obviously don't do that, but um, yeah, things have changed a lot. So anyway, my point is, I want to bring up to speed as far as what's going on with these potential adult checks. Have they been announced or what is really going on? here. And again, great questions for those of you that have been reaching out asking for some updates on this. And again, I want to do what I can to keep you updated with this. All right. So let me bring you up to speed really fast here on that legislation that lawmakers still have. Yes. Okay. So remember way back at the beginning of the year. Now, this is a long time ago, several months ago now, way back at the beginning of the year. Um, it was like the first week, I think it was like January 8th for some reason. That's just the date that sticks out in my mind. But this was brought up, okay, a bipartisan group. Um, uh, came together and they had this piece of legislation, which they wanted to establish in uh, a $78 billion package, which would do a number of different things. It would expand the child tax credit payments um, retroactively back to last year. This year it would raise them. And then next year also it would raise them as well. And also do some different uh, business credits and things like that um, for businesses. Okay. Now remember it passed through the house of representatives like immediately, actually at the very end of January, January 31st, it passed through the house of representatives, 356 seven in favor and 70 opposed. That's pretty good. Okay. Generally, you do not see legislation pass through the House of Representatives with that much um, in favor of the piece of legislation. Okay. That really, really passed very well. Then it went on to the Senate and the Senate did, well, nothing. They did absolutely nothing with it they didn't do anything with it. Okay. They've been talking about it. They've been negotiating about it. I've been reading a little bit about it lately, but they haven't really done a whole lot with it. They said, okay, maybe we have something to work with here. There's a framework, but they want to change it. There's a couple different concessions. Both sides want to change in this thing. 
and they've done nothing with it. It's stalled out. Even though it passed through the House of Representatives very, very easily, the president indicated, hey, yep, got a signature here. If you give it to me, um, sure thing, you know, no problem at all. The IRS commissioner came out, spoke about it even, okay? So he even mentioned, hey, if you, if you guys get this thing passed before um, or after people file their tax returns, don't worry, we will uh, go ahead and amend automatically, send out the necessary refunds, all kinds of things like this. Had all these high profile people on board with this thing and um, getting this whole thing saying, hey, sure, no problem at all. We'll get this whole thing handled. Just get it done through the Senate. The Senate has done nothing, absolutely nothing about it, okay? All right, so that's the package there now. However, let me point out really quickly, this piece of legislation does not contain any type of adult check. Then why would I talk about such a thing? Here's why, okay? Remember back in 2021, we had the American Rescue Plan. What was in it? We had expanded and enhanced um, child tax credit payments or advanced child tax credit payments within that piece of legislation. In other words, the second half of 2021, as in July through December, about four, uh, sorry, 38 million households received ongoing monthly payments in the amount of $422 on average per month, month in and month out for six months. The second uh, half of 2021, they got those payments. As soon as we rolled over to 2022, they stopped. Remember that? There's been a ton of controversy about this, a bunch of uproar and a bunch of people saying, hey, we need to retroactively go back. We need to reinstate these payments, the advance payments, the monthly checks, things like this, the millions and millions of households were getting, okay? Well, during that time as well, basically the entire time of 2021, once that piece of legislation was passed and we got that, we saw a lot of other people coming out suggesting, uh, right here on the channel included, we were talking about this as well, quite a bit then as well, is which was, um, why aren't adults getting something? What about low-income adults? What about seniors? What about fixed-income beneficiaries? Um, can they maybe get something too? Because, hey, <laughs> newsflash, everybody, they also need some assistance financially, right? We talked about all the details. Why are families who have, you know, minors uh, getting these payments, but yet seniors who are in an even more difficult financial situation, why are they not getting something, right? Fixed income beneficiaries. So this was the big question that was out there and a lot of people were bringing this up, suggesting and speculating that maybe that they would offer some type of adult payment as well, okay? Now, obviously we all know that never happened, okay? We, we talked about the details, that never happened in 2021, in 2022, 2023, it just never happened, right? But here we are in 2024. Now, here's the thing. Uh, back, you know, several months ago when we got this thing introduced and it passed through the House of Representatives, then there was also the talk that, hey, maybe this will once again bring up and um, resurrect the the conversation about uh, uh, these ongoing or enhanced, whatever it happens to be, adult checks for uh, the older adults, again, seniors, fixed income beneficiaries, anybody out there right now who basically is an adult who may not be eligible for the expanded child tax credit payments, maybe we could offer some kind of a adult payment for them as well, which would also be optional for an advanced feature, just like what we saw back in 2021 when the uh, when we got the advanced child tax credit payments where those checks were rolling out every single month to those 38 million households that were out there, right? So anyway, long story short here, since the Senate has done nothing with this piece of legislation to expand the child tax credit payments, and again, I know, maybe you're a fixed income beneficiary, maybe you're a senior, maybe you're a social security beneficiary, whatever it happens to be, maybe you have kids, maybe you don't, but maybe your kids are grown and, you know, adults who are 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, whatever, I don't know. But I'm simply saying, maybe you wouldn't be eligible for the expanded child tax credit payments. That's fine. That's what I'm talking about here is, that's where this whole conversation came in, talking about the adult checks, right? So anyway, long story short here, because the Senate has done nothing with this legislation. I mean, okay, fine. I shouldn't say nothing. They've talked about it. They've negotiated about it. They've said that, hey, um, we want some concessions here. We want to change different parameters of the legislation. We want to change this. We want to expand that. We want to do all these different things. They've talked about all kinds of different things. There's a number of issues that senators have with this legislation that they want to change. And they said, well, this is at least a framework, but um, we want to change a lot about it. So long story short, even though it has. Uh, it did pass through the House of Representatives. It is stopped in the Senate. Okay, so this unfortunately has also somewhat stopped the talk and the potential conversation about adult checks for seniors, older adults, anybody who may not be eligible for 
uh, the expanded child tax credit payments because maybe, again, they're adults who are low income or fixed income and um, may not be eligible for those payments. So that is where we're at as of right now. Okay. So long story short, again, I know I said that a couple of times, so I'm turning this long story into, you know, still kind of a long story, but even though it has not passed in the Senate yet, okay, we're still kind of sitting and waiting. Unfortunately, we don't know if it's going to pass this year. Uh, okay, that's just where we're at right now. Lawmakers have possibly indicated, well, maybe, but um, we need a lot of concessions here. Or maybe they've also indicated that we might just wait until uh, next year to get this thing done. Okay, well, fine. If we have to wait until next year, then that's not cool. But I, I guess late is better than never, right? So that's uh, kind of the situation that's going on right now. So have adult checks been technically announced? The answer to that is, well, technically, no, they have not technically been announced. However, I want to point this out really quickly as well, because some people say, well, these other forms are adult payments. Okay, there is tax credits that are out there. And again, these are not for everybody. There are some tax credits that are available to some low income people, and they are the EITC, the Earned Income Tax Credit. This is something that is available to some people. And again, by the way, this is not tax advice. This is not accounting advice. This is not financial advice. This is not advice in any way, shape or form. Everybody's situation is very different, but the EITC is potentially a tax credit that lower income adults um, can potentially take and get thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars. I would highly recommend that you talk to your accountant, your CPA, whoever prepares your taxes, if you do prepare a tax return, and um, see if this is something you could potentially claim on your tax return. Again, you got to look at your own situation here. The, I, there's no way I could sit here and make a, a blanket statement and generalize and be like, ah, everybody can get it. No, that's not true. Not everybody can get this, right? But again, even if you have a little bit of an earned income, um, your, your, your chances of potentially claiming the EITC um, are greatly increased, provided you have an earned income and if you are lower income, okay, if your income is low enough, then yeah, there's a lot of money here on the table with that. But again, that is not what I'm talking about here when it comes down to adult checks. But again, some people say that, oh, this is the adult check. Uh, not really, okay? That's just a tax refund. That's all that is. It's a tax credit that could potentially result in a tax refund for lower income adults um, in certain situations. Does that kind of make sense? Okay, so yeah, that's out there as well. It's been around for a very long time. It's certainly nothing new here. Um, the EITC has been around for a very long time. But anyway, so that's kind of where we're sitting right now. Until we get further action out of the Senate, unfortunately, there's probably not going to be a whole lot going on with this whole discussion of adult checks. I know. I wish I had better information for you and say like, oh, sure, they're going to do it. I wish I could say that, but it's not. And I'm not going to sit here and say that. So I'm only going to bring you the information that I'm finding and what I can find out there as far as what's actually going on. Okay. So that is where we currently stand with this whole adult check um, discussion and what's going on with that. So again, I'm gonna continue watching this just like everything else out there. And who knows, maybe we get action out of the Senate or maybe somebody else comes out and suggests that, okay, the Senate did nothing, but maybe it's time to now, you know, start offering some type of adult check. Now, again, I wanna point this out as well. Just because this is not currently moving or anything happening with it at the moment, I wanna point this out as well. Let's continue watching the economy, okay? Because when it comes down to the economy, remember, when the economy is bad, when the economy is collapsing, when the economy is going down, when the economy is contracting, whatever you want to call it, when these things are happening, guess what happens? This is generally when they print up a lot of money, hundreds of billions, trillions of dollars, whatever like that, and they possibly push it out in the form of stimulus checks. So my point is, okay, and you know right now as well, stimulus checks are not approved right now. You know that. I've said that so many times before in other videos, but... Could something like this potentially happen at some point this year if the economy goes down very, very dramatically and we see a major, major economic recession slash contraction? Absolutely, it could happen, right? It happens every time. So why would this time be any different? But again, we have to wait for something like that to happen. As of right now, it's not happening right now. But again, things like this happen very, very quickly. Uh, economic contractions happen very fast. They kind of take a long time leading up to them, but then all of a sudden, yoink, there you go. Somebody pulls the rug in, there we go and the whole thing crashes down. Does that kind of make sense? So anyway, I'm gonna leave it at that for now. Again, for those of you that have been asking the questions about this, I hope this answers it for you. If not, please feel free to leave a comment down below. Questions, comments, concerns, whatever like that. I do my best to read as many comments as I can, but if I see questions coming in again about this, I can always come back and make another follow-up dedicated video about this or even jump on a live stream and um, talk through this in real time with you just to answer your questions. Whatever it takes, let me know down below if you want me to come back and follow up on this one. So I hope this helps to clarify what's going on. Again, all eyes are on the Senate right now. That's kind of where it's sitting. 
and um, we need to see action out of them before we probably get a whole lot more talk about this. Does that kind of make sense? So anyway, hope this helps you. Again, please subscribe down below if you haven't done so yet. Totally free to do so. Share the video with the share button down below with your friends on social media. Go back and check out any of the other thousands of videos here on the channel, including those that I've hand selected for you down below in the description or at the top of the comment section. And right now on your screen, you'll see some videos popping up. Make sure to check out one of those videos as well. So Go ahead and make your selection now, and uh, I'll catch you again just in a minute here in the next video. So again, thank you so much. Enjoy your day. Take care, and...